Here we go on this Monday. It was a weekend of violent crime in Yakima. Two people dead and several others hurt. Police are still searching for suspects in some of those crimes. First up, a drive by shooting, then police chase, a police chase that left several people hurt. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell was in court today for the three men arrested in connection with this crime. According to court documents, officers aren't sure who exactly fired the shots. However, a judge did agree to high bail amounts for each of the suspects, saying based on the probable cause statements, their actions posed significant threats to public safety. Uh, this trio is a danger to the community. According to court documents, 35-year-old Jesus Torres Jr. was behind the wheel of a GMC Yukon. With passengers 25-year-old Alejandro Alvarez and 25-year-old Rogelio Araguin. Police say they chased a Cadillac to Sarge Hubbard Park on a busy Sunday afternoon when they opened fire, then took off leading all but one YPD officer on duty at the time and other agencies on a more than 20 minute long police chase across the upper Yakima Valley, reaching over 100 miles per hour. Lots of people will put at serious risk. People from Sarge Hubbard to Natchez and back to Yakima because uh, these three individuals have to shoot somebody in the park. According to court documents, Torres in the driver's seat caused two major crashes involving five other cars on 40th Avenue between Ritchie Road and Inglewood Avenue, injuring several people, including a nine-year-old child who was knocked out during the crash and their 12-year-old sibling. It's simply unacceptable to put the risk on innocent people. Three suspects reportedly took off from the crash scene on foot, but were arrested soon after. In court, defense attorney Melissa Derry asked the judge for lower bail amounts. Every individual on the criminal docket today enjoys the presumption of innocence at this stage. Uh, and again, in this report, uh, it's not known who uh, the actual shooter was, Your Honor. Uh, so I think that's uh, important for the court to take into consideration. Judge Jared Boswell agreed to the state's recommendation of $250,000 bail each for the two passengers. But for Torres, who's facing about a dozen charges, including vehicular assault, hit and run, and drive by shooting. I'm not satisfied uh, with the state's request. Uh, I don't believe that $250,000 uh, is sufficient to protect the community given uh, the conduct that you displayed or allegedly displayed. The judge set his bail at $750,000. The three defendants are expected to appear in court on Monday, June 24th to be arraigned on charges. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now.